Recently, Western media was seen frothing that a Hindu hardliner monk has been elected as chief minister promoting Hindutva. The overtone is how come a Hindu who wears his identity on his sleeve can hold political office? The average Indian is crushing under the load of secularism. A leader elected by the people is not enough. Democracy is not enough. It has to be secular. Otherwise, what will the Gora Sahib say? Oh, the Sahibs. The Queen of England is the head of both the church and the nation. She even carries the title Defender of the Faith. The Church of England is the official church of the nation. Yet Britain is secular, or it is an honorable country. The flag of Great Britain has three Christian crosses, from the flags of the churches of England, Scotland and Ireland. Yet Britain is secular, for it is an honorable country. The parliament reserves 26 seats in the House of Lords for the bishops of the Church of England. These non-elected bishops start every session with a Christian prayer. Not 5, 10, 20, but a shocking 92 seats in the House of Lords are reserved for those born into the royal families. These royals become lords only based on their birth and take political decisions. Yet, neither secularism nor democracy is threatened. Instead, our secularists offer them a standing ovation. How dare the heathens elect their representatives? How dare democracy work? <laughs>